Hello, my babies. So, this wig is really dope. And the reason why it's really... Because you guys know... Okay, listen. You guys know I love RPG show wigs. And I love them for their middle parts. Because they're, they're the easiest wig from, wigs for me to do middle parts with. But it's a middle part on top of the fact that it's an asymmetrical get down in the back. So, obviously, this is very reminiscent of Miss Nicki Minaj. She wore this style a few times as well as she wore it with bangs. So, I thought, why not? This actually would be cute. They said it's some of their new arrivals that were coming. So, I just did the technique, the laying technique that I always do in all my wigs. And then I'm going to give you the specs on this particular wig. That, that's, that is real. I just want y'all to look real quick. They did a good job cutting this wig. It's not as short in the back as I would like it. So it doesn't sit right where it's supposed to be. Like it's a little longer. Which I think is fine because it gives me the ability to cut it a little shorter if I like it. You know, instead of having it too short when it comes. Because everybody's head is not the same. And how this wig fits on me may fit a long faced person very differently. So it really depends. So it's good that they give you a, you know an extra little bit. If you don't know how to cut, take it to somebody that knows how to cut because you can ruin your good unit. So, to the wig. This wig is a stock wig. It is has, it has ombre highlights, which I don't see no highlights in this wig. It's all, it looks like one B to me. It's a human hair wig. It is uh, code NS007-S. The hair color is a number two. So, yeah, I don't really know this to be a two. Uh, the hair length in the front is 18 and then the back is between a 10 and a 12. So I would say it was a 12 and you can cut it to a 10, you know, to make it to your liking. The hair texture is silky, non yakky so it is a silky texture. This, this is definitely a silky texture. The lace color is a light brown. So everybody asks me, like, what color is your lace? It's always light brown because that's the only one that fits my scalp the best. The cap instruction is a cap number three. The cap size is a one, which is usually a petite. Um, I have a small head and a big face, so yeah, my head is not as big as my face. So all my caps that I do have are small. And again, if you do not like RPG shows wigs or you buy one and there's something wrong with it, do not cut the lace off and just send it back. So I've had this wig for about a month. If not a month, it's going on a month now. And I popped it on to go to the store and I popped it on to run up the street and I popped it on when I went to the beach um, and it's a very easy unit it's, it's very to the point it's really no like oh, oh, oh. Um, it has combs in it uh, and it has an adjustable strap it has two combs on the side and an adjustable strap in the back um, this is for the person who's very scared of length but you don't feel like you look good in really long hair this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. You still have the straight in the front that's only 18. It's not like it's 22 in the front. Although I've seen people do this bob, um, this asymmetrical get down, and it be all the way down here, and it just looks very stupid. So, um, yeah, I think this to this is a good ratio. I, anything longer would just look kind of ridiculous. It's already extreme, but I do like it. I think it's very nice. It was easy to lay. It already had a part... The thing that I'm learning that RPG Show is doing, which is I think is great, is they're kind of pre-putting the parts in the wigs so it's easier for you to kind of sit it where you want and then adjust it to your liking. Like, I can move this wig anywhere. If I want my part to be a little straighter, I can do that, you know. So, I mean, and then I just put a little concealer on my part, and then that was the end of that. So, yeah. I like this though. I, I think this is great. The density, the RBG show density is perfect for this wig because it allows it to be very flowy without being heavy. And I've seen people do this and it be real like this be high like this and it be real thick. And that's not attractive because it still moves. It has a lot of movement to it still. It's not dry. It's not, you know, blunt. It actually has movement. I would just have to go again back here to just cut it to my liking to kind of make it exactly what I want. But, I do like it. So, this is a good candidate for those who want something a little different. You can put it behind your ear like I have mine's on this side. You can keep it down. It kind of lends itself to be something funky, but not um, over the top. Like, too crazy. It has a little, it has an edge to it, but it's not completely safe. And it's not nothing more to really say because it's just like a half of a wig, kind of, sort of, because of the cut. So... You have the long in the front, and then you have the asymmetrical in the back. So, if you want to be a little funky or 
you're having a photo shoot as Nicki Minaj, or you just feeling a little, you know, barb-like, then I would definitely go for this. Or you just want something a little bit different um, to try. This would be actually good. Because you could wear this to work. and Well, depending on where you work. But for for the most part, this would be good if you work a, a place like a Foot Locker or anything that has like a little sass to it. Not corporate. This is not a corporate wig. Um, but yeah. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. All the information for this wig will be below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye!